Hey everyone, Dr. Charlie Johnson, physical therapist here. Uh, in today's video, I want to share with you why this concept of, hey, just rest for a couple weeks, you know, and see how it feels and then get back to what, whatever you're doing um, does not work in most, uh, most cases. So here's the truth about what's happening when you rest. So if you've had an injury uh, and you've been, you know, laying off things for a couple weeks, so, you know, I took a month off and I tried to go back to running and it just didn't work, right? And now you're thinking, what's wrong? I got to go get an image. I, you know, I've got to go see this doctor or that doctor, right? And you're sort of looking around for answers. Um, you just... You tried to beat the system, um, but with a little common sense, right, from somebody like myself, uh, you can understand why that didn't work. It doesn't mean you're broken and that you can't, uh, and that you need fixing via surgery or something like that. You just need to understand what's actually happening. So here's what's happening when you rest, all right? So we've got, uh, you know, time here. So maybe I'm resting for, I don't know, we'll just say 30 days. I just made that up, but some time frame, right? Uh, and then I'll say you've got uh, you've got something over here, uh, pretty straightforward, horsepower. So basically strength, if you will, or in even more general terms, the ability for your tissue, wherever that is in your body, right, to handle um, to handle life, to handle load, to handle going up and down the stairs, running, jogging, squatting, lifting, whatever it is. All right. So here's what happens, right? So here you are, you're doing okay. Ouch, you hurt yourself, right? and you have pretty high horsepower because you've been training and lifting and doing things, but then you injure yourself. Okay, so, ouch, right? And then what happens is, you know, you say, hey, I'll just take a break. So then maybe you shut it down or you do much less, right? And you chill out here for a while. Well, get that, you know, it took you a while to build up this strength, right? This horsepower, this distance of running, whatever it was, right, in life, and you got to a certain point, but then when you injured yourself, you took a break, right? So, look, if you take a break for like two days or three days or something like that, and you go back to things, you're probably going to be okay, but the problem is, is people think that resting, especially if you have hamstring problems or Achilles tendon problems, right, especially with tendon problems, right, these things are designed, and the body in general is designed to lift, move, bend, lift, and twist, and really do things, right? Well, what happens when you rest is as you're resting, you're actually getting weaker, right? So if you hadn't hurt yourself, your horsepower, your strength would have stayed really well, right? But now you hurt yourself and you're resting so that you can unload the tissue and try to give it time to, you know, the inflammation to go down or whatever you've been told is going on. But as you're down here, right, this is slowly doing this. Now get that in life, you need a certain amount of strength or horsepower to do certain things. So let's just use running as an example, right? So walking, well, let's just say sleeping is, it doesn't require any horsepower, that's zero, right? Sprinting might require you to, do, to need 100% of your horsepower, your strength, your energy, your capacity to do things, right? It's gonna use all your energy, right? So let's just say that jogging is maybe somewhere, I don't know, right here. Here, I'll do a different color for you. So that's jogging, right? And you want to get back to that, right? Well, what happens is as you hurt yourself, calms down, and then your horsepower reduces. So then you're saying, hey, a few weeks later, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to try to go for a run again. Well, then what happens is you try to go run here, but your horsepower, your strength, your conditioning has reduced well below what's needed for, in this case, jogging, all right? So then you go back to that, and then you're like, boom, it hurts again, right? And you just keep hurting, you just keep hurting yourself, and then you're like, you know, WTH, like what the heck's going on here? Um, and now you go down the path hole of MRIs, injections, whatever, a bunch of useless stuff, all right? So the point is, is that as you're resting, if you just rest like very temporarily, this doesn't happen overnight, but it starts to go down a little bit. If you take, you know, three weeks, four weeks, six weeks, two months or longer, right? And then you try to go back to that same activity that bothered you, you're gonna have serious problems, all right? So the point is, is that rest doesn't work because you're deconditioning as you rest, and then certain activities in life require a certain amount of horsepower or energy to do that. And as you're resting, if you're deconditioning, you're not building that back up. The, the best way to do it is to rest, unload it so that the fire, the inflammation, or whatever it is, the pain can calm down. Then once you're feeling good, 
then you've slowly got to rehabilitate. You've got to rehab your, back, your way back to this level of function, right? Part of the problem as to why you probably hurt yourself in the beginning is that you didn't have enough horsepower or enough uh, tolerance, uh, tissue tolerance or capacity to do the, the, uh, the activity that hurt you to begin with, all right? So you were underpowered to begin with, and now you've rested, you're really underpowered, and then you wonder why you can't get back to running, all right? So this is where rehab comes in, a stepwise sort of strength and conditioning approach to, you know, here you're driving a Camry, you want to be driving a Ferrari, right? You want to have 150 horsepower, such that anything below this, jogging, sprinting, walking, you know, anything below this is good to go and no problem, all right? So, you know, if you're resting things out and you're thinking that's your solution uh, to get past your pain and then you keep re-injuring yourself, get that this is what's happening, right? So you need to... It's okay to calm things down and all about that, right? Modifying, tweaking, or temporarily avoiding things to calm the, calm the fire. But then if you're trying to get back into things, you have to have some type of coaching or some type of um, you know, well-reasoned plan to get back to that level of uh, tolerance, all right? So um, again, Dr. Charlie Johnson here. If you have any questions, comment below, shoot me a like.